Hello all dear students, I Aminav Negi welcome you all in this faculty driven platform that is result in health. I hope my audio video is fine. Please just quickly confirm me on the comment box. I am audible and visible both guys. Okay, if yes, then let's start this session. I hope all of you are fine and as you know that uh, yesterday the forms were out. So now many students are very curious about uh, the form, the gate, the strategy, the everything. Let me be very frank, very clear with you. Guys, gate is not that kind of exam which occurs once in twice years or once in two years or once in three years. Sometimes in February, sometimes in August, sometimes in November. Gate is a examination which occurs every year from last 35 years in the month of February. Even guys, there is COVID, many exams were postponed, delayed, cancelled, including engineering services, but GATE is always on the month of February. So all those students who are thinking that uh, they can uh, prepare or now they will start the preparation, guys, this is totally a blunder that they have already committed that they were waiting for the forms to start preparation so one blunder is already done by such students not to repeat it not to make now more blunders because the students who will be getting the rank the students who are seriously preparing have nothing to do with this gate form or uh, <laughs> of course they have to fill the form but i want to say they have nothing to do with the strategy or they are not in the mode or they are not thinking that they will start or increase their pace after the forms are out. Okay. Now coming back to the session guys. Okay. So guys see. Understand this exam. I always say I guess every week I am saying this in a particular session or another session that gate is the most conceptual exam that a engineer will be giving after completing the BTEC. There is no other exam, there is no other exam which is as conceptual, which will be asking as deep questions as GATE ask, okay, including engineering services prelims also. Okay, GATE will be covering the vertical depth of the syllabus and no other exam after your BTEC in the technical domain will be covering that deep questions. So GATE will be favorable for those students who believe to build the concepts, who believe to go to the depth of the concepts and they have nothing or very little to do with the cramming and they are all with the application part of the concepts. Okay, because let me tell you guys, in any competitive exam, any, whether it is technical, non-technical, bank, IIT, JE, RRB, JE, GATE, engineering services, civil services, any exam, there are three types of questions in a competitive exam. Those three types of questions are, either a question will be data based, where only the data is required. What is the density of bitumen? What is the permeability of sand or any other thing? Either a question will be data based or a question will be formula based. Either a question will be data based. Second type, either a question will be formula based. Just knowing the formula, all the values are given in the question, put the formula and get the answer. Suppose A is equal to X into Y into Z upon something or X into Y into Z upon something, something, something. So if you know all the variables, you know the formula, all variables are given in the question, you will put it in the variables and get the answer. And the third types of the question is conceptual, where knowing only the formula will not help, where knowing only the formula will not help. There you have to know that how to apply, how to apply those formulas or how to use those formulas to get the desired result. Let me repeat three types of question. First is database. Only if you know the data, you will get the answer. Density of bitumen, density of bitumen, probability of sand, probability of clay like this. Second type. Second type is formula based questions. Only knowing the formula, all the values will be given in the question, you will get the answer. 
and third is conceptual questions where only knowing the formula will not help you have, you have to know how to apply the formulas you have to know that what are the assumptions related to this and then you will get the answer gate will be asking almost all or most or at least 90% of the questions who will be of the third type that means the questions will be mostly conceptual few questions will be formula based and rarely a question will be data based but other exams like HPCL, like engineering services prelims, like state service examination, all those examinations will be having all three types of questions almost in equal proportion. Database almost 30 to 35 percent, formula based 35 to 40 percent, conceptual questions 35 percent. But gate is only exam where database questions are almost negligible and either a question will be formula based, few questions will be formula based and most of the questions will be conceptual based. Okay, that means for getting the gate exam, you have to go the vertical depth of the syllabus. Although for other exams, you can go horizontal also. Very wide range will be asked. HBCL will not be asking in a particular question very deep. Engineering services and planes exam will not be asking a very deep in a particular question. They will be covering the horizontalness of the syllabus. They will be covering the wide range of the syllabus. Gate is not asking that wide range. Gate has nothing to do with all those topics which are of no use or having no application or not conceptual. Either they are empirical or they are formula based. Gate will not be go touching those topics. Gate will be concising only on those topics which will be very, very conceptual and from there the questions will be asked. That means your preparation should be such. Now, how guys see all those students who have just started their preparation or they will be starting now. All the students mostly can be categorized into two types. One student, as you must have been seeing the thumbnail. Hi, hi Vineet, how are you? Most of the questions will be such that or uh, most of the students can be categorized in two parts. One type of the students will be all those students who are those who will be going for the complete syllabus but of course if they are going with the complete syllabus and if they are not going very deep then they are studying something something and not going very deep and ultimately out of the 100 marks they are covering they will be getting 40 marks 45 marks they will be getting only 40 to 45 marks but there is other type of student who knows this nature of exam who knows the gate questions will not be that easy and he will be going only for 85 or 90 percent of the syllabus and then he will be getting 75 marks of those 90. Ultimate aim is to get more marks in competition exam. Ultimate aim is not to complete the syllabus. Guys, if now I am not saying completion of syllabus is not possible. If you are a pass out student, if your college is not very hectic, if your professors are very supportive then even guys now also you can go for almost completion of syllabus almost completion of syllabus means in few subjects there are such topics especially steel and structures where complete syllabus or uh, most of the topics are such that from where questions will not be asked okay so if you avoid those few topics in each every subject you can cover the entire syllabus as of now also. I repeat, you can cover 100% civil engineering syllabus from starting from today also. But in that case, few topics, particularly steel and structural analysis, where various topics are such that from where questions are not asked in gate examination. If you're leaving such topics, such 5 to 10 topics in every subject, you can cover almost 95, 97, 98% of the syllabus. But in the case when you are passed out, but in the case when you are a college going student, but your pro professor is very supportive, there is not a lot of assignment, there is no much lab work, there is no more, no much project work. In that case, you can cover 97 to 98% of the syllabus. But in other case, almost it is impossible to cover 100% or 97% of the syllabus. Any teacher telling you anything, motivating you anything, but that is the reality. That is the reality guys. If you are a college going student, 
if you have to do lot of assignments, if your college is such that your professors are not allowing uh, you to leave the classes, if you are in a lot of assignment, your project work is very hectic and the most important condition, you have not just, you have not started preparation. Then you cannot complete. If you started the preparation, 10% is complete, 20% is complete, 35% is complete, 18% is complete. Then in those circumstances also, you can complete the syllabus. Completing the syllabus means 97 to 98%. But in most of the cases, guys, I recommend if such situations are not with you, then instead of completing the whole syllabus, but not going into very deep, ultimately out of 100, you will be getting 40 marks. It is always desirable for go for 90, 85, 80 and out of that 80, 85, 90, get maximum marks. Try to get more than 70 marks because in civil engineering guys, as we have seen the last few year trends, even you are getting more than 55 to 54 marks, you will be getting a IIT degree. Even you are getting more than 67 marks in last two years, not earlier, you are getting PSU also. If the paper comes of same level or little bit, little bit the difficulty level is oh, 5 to 10 percent fluctuated then also guys uh, more than 60 marks is in a safe range safe range for a very good mtech college for psu more than 60 is not a safe range okay hi hi everyone guys you can ask your doubts hi Krupa. hi hi sandeep everyone you can raise your doubts here as well guys okay so try to understand the exam and accordingly make your strategy and go for the hard work. At the end guys, let me tell you again that this is, I'm saying from what I observed from last many years, especially when this online era has come after the COVID 2019. This is the mistake most of students are now making. This mistake was not in the offline time in 2016, 17, 13, 14, 18. This mistake was not there. But especially after COVID, this mistake is, is happening by a lot of students. What is this mistake? They are making, they are giving importance to strategy like anything. I'm not saying strategy is not important. I am saying strategy is not most important. Concepts, your coverage of syllabus is much, much important than strategy. Let me tell you guys, you all will believe this. That with the best of the strategies, best of the strategies, who the Lord Rama and Shiva have given you in your air. Ah, this is the strategy. And with average concepts, you will not be getting a rank in the gate examination. I repeat. With average concepts and with the best of the strategies in this universe, you will not be getting anything but vice versa. With a decent strategy and best of the concepts, you will be getting a rank in the gate examination, guys. So out of what I have observed in the last many years, now strategy is important for all the students. They are watching the strategy videos like anything. Teachers also, I found that they are more interested in giving the strategy rather than the content. Okay, now you will be saying, sir, this session is also same now. Guys, after many technical videos, I'm taking this session. Many, many, more than 50 technical videos I have taken. I'm not talking only on YouTube, but a combination of YouTube and app, app free videos also. After those 50 videos, I'm taking one such video because I know forms are out now. Suddenly, a lot of students who are sleeping in last few months, now they are, oh, gate, 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 gate. We have to crack the gate examination now. Okay, so try to understand this fact, guys. First, you already have made a blunder because you are waiting for the gate form for starting your preparation. For that exam, which from last 35 years is occurring annually in the month of February, for that exam, are you waiting for the form? Now, many students are taking the benefit of that, opening the badges because they know they know the students will be very active now. So float some course, they will be enrolling in that. So already one mistake you have made, if you are waiting for the, this form announcement at all. Form announcement is not a big huge deal guys. That form announcement these days na, that gate on form announcement is this. This is rather than giving information to students na, it is like, it is like getting the views in the YouTube. For teachers, 
it is not like giving information to the students that form is out fill this it is now this is a chance of getting so many views it is something like that so those all those things are in resultant particularly uh, even guys not in resultant where i was working earlier also uh, my motive is only to make it very crisp if form is announced in 3 minutes 4 minutes that can be told tell in 3 to 4 minutes yeah i have told this uh, this 2024 form i made a video last time i will take only 59 seconds yes if you are telling how to fill the form that will take 40 45 minutes it's fine that is a worthy of it but only to tell the gate form is out and you are making a 40 minute video because you know that 40 minute video will get you more views than a 2 minute video come on here this should not be a video gaining topic this should be a information giving topic okay scrupa is saying while i was seen in here meeting today they were asking questions from is code for the geo means we have to go see krupa raj krupa raj what happens that when you are betting in a pitch na mind a pitch like subcontinent in india suppose out of 300 balls na one ball is keeping very low in few pitches which are not good pitches many balls keep low but if out of 300 balls one ball is keeping low na you will not be practicing for that because if you are thinking every time the ball is pitching in a good pitch and it will be keeping low that means every time you have a second thought and you are not working for the balls which 99% will be coming for the even bounce similarly guys in engineering services there are few topics for which you have to do go for unlimited amount of data and you have to learn them please leave them and focus only for those topics from which most of the questions are coming and that is very conceptual also that is the reason krupa and other students in engineering services from last many years the prelims cut off even for general and reserve category is not going for more than 50% because they are asking such type of questions so if you go for such type of question na then guys unlimited amount of data you have to go you have to learn which is not possible and ultimately that will give you 5 to 7 marks better to focus on other things and get 30 to 35 marks in rcc code still it is very predictable in rcc code still it is very predictable that what type of topics they are mostly asking but in geotech code that amount of uh, weightage analysis or that amount of favoritism of topics has still not made okay thank you thank you all dear students for any comments please connect me on my mail id abhinav at the rate resultant.in you can whatsapp me also at 9354916360 or you can put your comments in this video as well thank you take care